I'm Victor Morgan, and rector of St. Luke's Church, Blue Ridge, Georgia. I welcome you to this service of evening prayer on the Saturday uh, of Easter week. Uh, we have with, I have with me today the Reverend Ron Wickander and uh, Jim Novlin, and on the organ, Eileen Kerr. And we're, I'm so happy to know that you're with us uh, out there, our internet uh, congregation. And if you're in driving distance of St. Luke's, I would like to encourage you and invite you to come along tomorrow for our drive-in service. It begins at 9.30. Stay safe in the family car. Hope to see you there. If not uh, out front, I hope you will watch us uh, via the internet. Our, we begin with the hymn, The Day Thou Gavest. dissemble, nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our <coughs> Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same, by His infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do, when we assemble and meet together, to render thanks for the great benefits we have received in his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying, after me. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy own laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. 
and there is no power in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all those who truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalms for the 18th day, evening. Getting on page 457 in the prayer. The Lord is king and hath put on glorious apparel. The Lord hath put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He hath made put the round world so sure that, that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began hath thy seat been prepared. Thou art from everlasting. The floods are risen, O Lord. The floods have lift up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The waves of the sea are mighty and rage horribly. But yet the Lord who dwelleth on high is mightier. Thy testimonies, O Lord, are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, thou God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Arise, thou judge of the world, and reward the proud after their deserving. Lord, how long shall the ungodly, how long shall the ungodly triumph? How long shall all wicked doers speak so disdainfully and make such proud boasting? They smite down thy people, O Lord, and trouble thine heritage. They murder the widow and the stranger and put the fathers to death. And yet they say, Tush, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Take heed, ye unwise among the people. O oh, ye fools, when will ye understand? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? Or he that made the eye, shall he not see? Or he that instructeth the heathen, it is he that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he punish? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, 
that they are but vain. Blessed is the man whom thou chastest, O oh. Lord, and teachest him in thy law, that thou mayest give him patience in time of adversity, until the pit be digged up for the ungodly. For the Lord will not fail his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Until righteousness turn again unto judgment, all such as are true in heart shall follow him. Who will rise up with me against the wicked? Or who will take my part against the evildoers? If the Lord had not helped me, it had not failed, but my soul has been put to silence. But when I said, My foot has slipped, thy mercy, O Lord, told me up. In the multitude of the sorrows that I had in my heart, thy comforts have refreshed my soul. Wilt thou have anything to do with the throne of wickedness, which imagineth mischief as a law? They gather them together against the soul of the righteous, and contemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my refuge, and my God is the strength of my confidence. He shall recompense them their wickedness, and destroy them in their own malice. Yea, the Lord our God shall destroy them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the 25th chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For thou hast made a, of a city an heap, of a defensed city a ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city. It shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nations, shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against a wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wine on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the lees well refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Here ended the first lesson. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary, beginning on page 26 in the prayer My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced, rejoiced in my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. 
He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the ninth verse of the seventh chapter of Revelation of St. John the Divine. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these things which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they from? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest, and he said to me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Here endeth the second lesson. The Nunc Dimittis, Song of Simeon, page 28. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the river Jeremiah, suffering at Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endure thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty Father, who hast given thine only Son to die for our sins 
and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve thee in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace going before us, thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of thine only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land, and so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory, and that we and all the people duly considering whose authority they bear may faithfully and obediently honor them according to thy blessed word and ordinance through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace and that they may truly please thee pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing grant this o lord for the honor of our advocate and mediator jesus christ amen, amen. o almighty god who in thy wrath did send a plague upon thine own people in the wilderness for their obstinate rebellion against Moses and Aaron. And also in the time of King David, didst slay with the plague of pestilence three score and ten thousand, and yet remembering thy mercy, didst save the rest. Have pity upon us miserable sinners, who now are visited with great sickness and mortality, that like as thou didst then accept an atonement and didst command the destroying angel to cease from punishing, so it may now please thee to withdraw from us this plague and grievous sickness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue 
out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Mighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.